In this video, we visit Port Stephens in New South Wales, Australia. This video is a reminder that your trip will never go as planned. Oh my god! Oops. This is really embarrassing. Come with me as I attempt to show you everything you can do in this beautiful part of Australia. The following video includes a beautiful soundbar, the ride of my life. Actually, I feel really sick. Rain, more rain, and getting stuck on a kid's ride. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Welcome to Winters in Australia. Okay, so I know I'm not stood here in a speedo and trunks, but the fact that I can come down to the beach in the middle of the winter is just insane as a European. In today's video, I'm going to be exploring the beach town of Nelson Bay, New South Wales. If you have watched the previous video, you know I went to Gloucester and I stayed in a tiny house. So about two hours from Gloucester, I found myself in Nelson Bay for the next two nights. So make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see future Aussie vlogs, um, if you want to follow along for the journey. My name is Dane Luca. I've been traveling the world for a year and now I've ended up in Australia. So I know it might not look like it's sunny and hot here, but it is 20 degrees. And for mid-July, this is pretty good for a winter, I think. The part of Nelson Bay, Port Stephens, that I have chosen to stay in is a little holiday park called Fingal Bay. So this is Fingal Bay Beach. There's a little spit, I think it's called like a little sandbar, which leads out to Shark Island. I think I want to try and go out there tomorrow, but I just saw a sign that said, if there's water covering, the pathway do not attempt to get there so i'm gonna have to be careful you probably can't hear me because there's no mic on there that's what the weather was looking like just now and this is the weather now i think i better head back so i will see you guys in a bit it literally looks pure evil this is some stranger things shit this is where travel becomes unpredictable there was a huge storm just as i got back to the apartment so we didn't end up doing anything the first night Good morning guys, the weather is not looking too good today. It's completely ruined my plans. The weather can be so unpredictable when you travel, so we're just gonna roll with it. It's currently midday. When I left you guys yesterday, there was like the craziest storm. It's like the heavens opened up, the sky was black. I've ran back to the little apartment that I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of before we head out. We're only here for another 24 hours. And I'm like, I haven't really seen anything because the weather has been so bad. So we are staying at Seaside, Holiday Resort, yeah, Seaside Holiday Resort, Fingal Bay. I'll give you a quick tour because I think this apartment is freaking huge and it's really good value for money. I paid 280 Australian dollars for two nights. I did book on booking.com and I'm like a genius level three member so it was slightly cheaper than the normal rate. I don't know how I did that, but I did. This is the outside area. You can, it's literally like a two minute walk to Fingal Bay Beach. And then this is the, there's two sofas here. This is literally the shabbiest walkthrough I've ever done on this channel. I apologize. And then there is a big kitchen area. There's a little decking out there if you did want to have dinner or whatever. We've got all like the kitchen amenities. Ignore this, ignore this. You did not see this, you did not see this. Um, microwave, oven, so we cooked some pasta last night. Yeah, it's really big. Like I'm, I'm shook at how big it is. Like it's this big. There is two bedrooms here. This one, it looks a bit shabby because I was so cold last night, I actually stole the extra blankets from these beds. And then in here is the bedroom. It's pretty basic, but it does the job. But for 280 Australian dollars for a two bedroom apartment, I was like, that is really good value. So I would recommend staying here. They're really friendly as well. Um, yeah, they're not paying me to say that, but I just, I will always tell you guys if something is good or not. This is the bedroom. That is Seaside Holiday Resort in Fingal Bay. I know I introduced the video by saying I'm staying in Nelson Bay. I thought Nelson Bay was the whole area until Matt told me that it's actually Fingal Bay that was staying. There's lots of different beach towns, I don't know if you can call them, but it was like a 10 minute drive from Nelson Bay. The sun has cleared, well, the sun has come out now finally, so we're gonna go grab some lunch and then head to a viewpoint which looks very special. I'm just hoping 
the weather stays like this because I didn't drive all the way to Nelson Bay for nothing. I think I'm getting confused where we are because this place is called Shoal Bay. I thought we were staying in Nelson Bay, but we're actually staying in Fingal Bay. We have just come to Shoal Bay. Thank you. Oh, oat latte. So we have just come to Zenith Cafe. I've just found the cutest towel. It's just started raining all of a sudden, so we jumped in a shop. And I found me a new quick dry towel and it looks absolutely stunning. So it's like a Turkish towel. Sammy's Turkish towels. I'm so excited to use it on my trip next week. Just gonna hide out here until it stops raining. I definitely think we're gonna have to come back to Shaw Bay, Nelson Bay, Fingal Bay, wherever bay we are. This is not what I planned when I planned a nice little getaway to Nelson Bay. I have gone for a lovely little poke bowl. It looks delicious. I think poke bowl and a coffee is the perfect combination for this rainy day in Nelson Bay. So good. These are the moments that I dread when planning trips. The rain. Obviously, this is something that you can't avoid, but as a content creator, I go to destinations to explore and show you guys the best things to do. So it sucks when it rains the entire time, especially in a country like Australia where most activities are outdoors. So after hiding out in the shopping center for a couple of hours after lunch, it's pretty much been raining all day. The sun has kind of peaked through a little bit, so we have headed to Tomari National Park. Now, can confirm guys, I was totally wrong earlier, this is the area of Port Stephens, and there is lots of bays, 26 to be precise. We've got like Fingal Bay, Nelson Bay, Salamander Bay, Salamander Bay or something. So yeah, we're just walking to a viewpoint, which I think is up there. I've got my new little selfie stick type. Thing, so I'm gonna be vlogging on this as well. It just feels good to be outside. Another thing that you can do here is dolphin and whale watching, which I did wanna book, but because I knew the weather was gonna be bad, I thought I don't really wanna be out in the middle of the ocean when it's pissing down with rain. My new little selfie stick. Since the rain cleared up, I wanted to make the most of it and it was certainly worth the climb to get some incredible views, although it was a bit windy. It's just a bit windy at the top. Oh my god. Ah, my sunglasses. So this is the view that you can expect on the journey up and it's absolutely stunning. I think if it was sunny right now, it would look even more beautiful. This is just making me so much more excited to explore the rest of Australia, which if you guys are new around here, I just moved here on a working holiday visa and I'm gonna be exploring this country for the next year. If you are coming to the Port Stephens area, make sure you do this trail to get these amazing views of the ocean and all these little beaches. So that actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be more intense because I've seen a few blog posts saying it's like a really intense walk. It was more like a trail as opposed to a bush walk. But I'm so glad that I persevered with just staying out today so that I was able to do that because it's like one of the things that I really wanted to do. Is... So I'm just walking. Oh my god, it scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> What's down here? I don't like it. I don't know how I feel about this. I actually might just go back because I'm scared. But I mean, I've come here, so I might as well walk to the beach. But if you can see, that is where we walked to. I'd say it took like 20 minutes up there, 20 minutes down. It was very beautiful, but very windy. Like Instagram versus reality. Hey, this is bloody stunning. If only the sun were out and the wind was not here, this would be beautiful. Oops. Okay, this is giving me creepy vibes. There's no one on the beach. Okay, I'm out of it. Ah, I don't like this. Low key keeping the sun in case anything happens.
The next morning, I headed to the beach bright and early at 7 a.m. This is when the nice weather came to say hello. Unfortunately, my mic wasn't plugged in, so I will just tell you about my morning. I really wanted to check out Fingal Bay Split before I headed back to Sydney. This is the famous sandbar that leads to Shark Island and is home to an old lighthouse and caretaker's home. As you can see, the crossing doesn't exactly look very safe. There are warning signs to discourage people from crossing the split. Many people have actually drowned trying to cross to the island or even getting back. So it is strongly recommended to not attempt the crossing. After this, we packed up and headed to our final spot of the trip, Toboggan Hill Park. <laughs> This is where things get a lot more fun. We have come to Toboggan Hill Park, which is probably one of the more popular things to do here. The sun is finally out. So we, before we head back to Sydney, we're gonna go to this park. And I'm really excited because I did this in Slovakia and it was so much fun. I think there must have been a few accidents here because they make you sign a little declaration before you get there. We were just gonna do the Toboggan Inn, but it is, $30 and you can do four of the different activities. We've got toboggan rides, mini golf, train maze, ice skating, rock climbing. There's loads of stuff to do. So I will let you guys know if this is good or not. I also feel like we might be the oldest people here, but hey, we're gonna have a good time. Gonna have a good time? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Keep hands and feet inside the toboggan at all times. Okay. If you want to feel like a five-year-old, come to Toboggan Hill Park because you'll feel like a five-year-old. It's literally me and Matt, and uh, we are we're gonna do the crazy maze. But there's a little tractor ride to get there, which is a bit crazy. made it to the maze. I have no idea what we are doing here. Okay, this is a bit of an awkward activity because we've just been dropped off by a tractor and there's just like a big group of people walking around this maze. So I think we have to get to those to find a way out. This one is very boring. Yeah, it wouldn't wait. <laughs> I'm not have I been with this one. I don't like it. I don't like the tractor ride. I don't like this. I think kids are beating us. But I think maybe because we're not enjoying it as much. I think this is the way out. In conclusion, I would not recommend this activity for people over the age of like 14 because it's very boring. This is really embarrassing. Everyone is already out of the maze. Are we there? Uh, no? This way? Not this way. I don't know anymore. No dead end. Let's follow everyone else. Okay, thought we'd absolutely spice things up seeing as that was so boring. What are we going on, Matt? The extreme gyro. Extreme. Yeah, it honestly looks terrifying. I now have motion sickness, so I'm probably gonna puke. But here it goes nothing. Disclaimer, if you get nauseous or sick easily, do not ride the gyro. I repeat, do not ride the gyro. <laughs> I don't feel good. You did are. you like that? Yeah, I did. It's fun. I actually felt like I was going to vomit, so I was like, we need to stop. <laughs> it was actually extreme, and I feel sick. I kind of want to, if these kids go on, I want to have a look. We can watch them. Yeah, my stomach is just doing circles. Really? Mine yeah, and my head was just like, oh, it wasn't so bad. Actually, I feel really sick. I feel really sick. I spent the drive home to Sydney trying not to be sick, so would not recommend the gyro. Thanks for watching this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed our rainy trip to Port Stephens. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace out. Hello. Can you hold the camera, please? Burp. 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 The Shark Island part of it, Sunny? Oh, it's good. I can't even remember. So it's kind of nearly... What am I even trying to say this morning? I don't even know. So seeing as the... Blah, blah, blah.